Hey, this is Motion Dono, and in this tutorial, we're gonna do a little bit of compositing. We're gonna put this cool footage right behind here, and we're gonna track it in. So I'm just gonna drag in my two footage right here. I'm just gonna throw this in a new comp. And the goal is we wanna change this background scene, and we wanna track it in there to this Sydney picture right here. Now one of the first things I'm gonna do is mask this, and I'm gonna mask this car right here and throw it over this Sydney picture. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get my original footage, duplicate it, and let me turn this off. Let me go to this pen tool right here, and I'm just gonna get a rough draft of what I wanna do with this one right here. So I'm just gonna cut this out and I'll put this guy's head back later. <laughs> uh, then I want to get my Sydney picture, drag it below it, and I'm just going to raise this all the way up like so. So right now this looks horrible. It's not even tracked to it. So the next step is we're going to track this picture to the road. So I'm going to click on the original footage, go to animation, and click on the track camera, go to advance, and have this at auto detect and detailed, right? Click that on. And right here, we can see it's analyzing in the background. Now, after it's done analyzing, I'm just gonna like click right here, right click on the mouse, set ground plane to origin. Then I'm gonna right click again. And let's just create a solid with the camera right here. And now what I'm gonna do is get this Sydney footage and I'm just gonna convert it into a 3D object. Now it's kind of weird in 3D space right now, so what we're gonna do is get this tracking data and apply it to the footage. So if I click on the tracking data, I'm gonna hit P, hold down Shift, S, R, or you could just double click that and just gather all this, Command C, click here and Command V, so all the data is on here. And now we can realign it up and scale it down because right now it's in 3D space and it's all tracked. And here we have this so far. It's looking way better tracked in the scene. And then now I wanna click on the Cine footage, get my pen tool, and I just wanna blend the sky with the other sky. So if I cut that, and if I go down to my mask, I'm gonna invert it. Then I'm just gonna hit F on the keyboard to bring up my mask feather. And let me just blend it in a little bit more and we can add some more sky in there later now the next thing I'm gonna do is we need to have this bus over the scene so if I get my uh, original footage right here I'm just gonna drag it in its own separate comp so it's nice and clean and I want to get rid of this background right here so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna quickly show you guys how to get this rid of it one way to do it is this scale it up so you can get rid of the background. Uh, another way you can do that is just by doing the mask tool up here, which can take longer, but might look even better. Just do that, hit M on the keyboard, and you can go to your uh, tracker right here. And if you don't see the tracker, just go to window, put in the tracker. Now if you select your mask, make sure you make a mask path. And then if you just click play, this is one way that you can isolate all of them and you can do that individually. But there's many ways, there's even Roto that we talk about in our video course, the link in the description, beginner through expert. Uh, but for this quick example, we're just gonna do a key light. It's not gonna look the best, but just an example. Now for this tutorial, I at least want the van to look a little decent. So I'm gonna go to my Roto brush tool Actually, double click on the scene so you can draw on the roto. Now, when you're rotoing, you want to make sure you're doing it at full resolution because quarterly can get a little weird. So, after the bus is roto right here, we want to make sure our feather is up a little bit because we kind of want the edges not to be so sharp looking. So, now if we go back to our, our main comp right here, and then if we get our roto footage right here, we're just gonna drag it down. And there you have it, how to create this cool composite in Adobe After Effects. 
And if you want to see the full exclusive tutorials, beginner through expert of Adobe After Effects, just check out the link down below, motiondano.com. We have templates in there, and you can even comment below the courses if you need any help.